Hello dear traders, welcome to Insta TV. You're watching Daily Financial News with me, Anna Kasatkina. The selling streak in China's equity market continues. Japanese and Chinese stock indices once again ended Friday's trading session in the red. As a result, investors have decided to shift their money into funding currencies such as the euro and the yen ahead of the long weekend. On Monday, U.S. markets will be closed in observance of Martin Luther King Day. Price movements of the dollar-yen pair, as seen on the chart, reflect growing demand for the Japanese currency. The price was hovering near 117.70 in pre-European deals. Traders scaled up yen purchases after the comments made by the Bank of Japan governor Haruhiko Kuroda, who pointed out a positive effect of sinking oil prices on Japan's economic outlook. Another reason why market participants are betting on the Japanese yen gaining ground against the U.S. dollar is the upcoming release of retail sales data from the United States. The report is likely to come as a disappointment for dollar bulls. If the figures match the expectations for a 0.1% drop, the market could see stronger bearish pressure on the dollar-yen pair. The current doubts and pessimism among traders have allowed the single European currency to correct higher after heavy losses seen yesterday, triggered by the dovish minutes of the ECB's monetary policy meeting in December. The euro-greenback pair later began to pick up steam, rising to 1.0890. The document revealed that European policymakers believed there was a high probability that the quantitative easing program will be expanded this year. Moreover, some voting members of the governing council favor further cuts in the ECB's deposit rate. This was Daily Financial News on Insta TV. Thanks for watching and goodbye.